Well, taking a long-term view in its cooperation with China. That is what Minister in Charge of the Public Service Chan Chun Singh says Singapore is doing. And that means looking beyond the ups and downs in each country's economic development. Mr Chan was responding to a question from CNA as he wrapped up his four-day visit to China. Olivia Xiong with this report. A valuable opportunity. That's how Minister in Charge of the Public Service Chan Chun Singh described his four-day visit to China, also his first since the COVID-19 pandemic. Besides visiting new development sites, Mr Chan met Chinese leaders and officials and co-chaired a bilateral leadership forum. He said the biggest takeaway was getting to understand China's perspective of what's happening at home and abroad. This also as Singapore undergoes its own leadership transition. Mr Chan is among Singapore's next generation of leaders. We never take it for granted that people would uh, like to continue forums like this unless we have an in-depth understanding of their fears, concerns and aspirations and at the same time we are able to value add to the conversation. It requires effort, it requires every generation of leaders on both sides, officials on both sides to make the effort to better and deeper understand one another. Mr Chan's visit comes as China's uncertain economic outlook remains a key focus, this featuring in his discussions with Chinese officials. We should appreciate that the Chinese have their own challenges and these are complex challenges, but we must never underestimate their determination to overcome these challenges. We should also never underestimate the clarity that they have with their own challenges. From my talks with the Chinese officials, I think they are very clear about the challenges they have ahead of them. Not just the immediate challenges, but also challenges beyond the immediate months and years. China's post-pandemic recovery has drawn attention, with several international financial institutions recently lowering their annual growth forecasts for this year. China is Singapore's largest trading partner, while on the other hand, Singapore has been China's largest foreign investor since 2013. But given the economic outlook, Minister Chan was asked whether this would affect bilateral cooperation. Mr Chan said both Singapore and China have gone through periods of ups and downs, adding that the success of bilateral projects isn't measured in a few years. What is most important in the relationship is to take a long-term perspective of how we build up the relationship systematically, how we engage and pursue the projects in a systematic way and making sure that we always have the long-term goal in sight. So there will be ups and downs in uh, any of this uh, economic development. There will be ups and downs even in the projects. But I think we look beyond that and always uh, hold a steady focus on the long-term objectives. Early on Wednesday, Mr Chan, who is also Education Minister, met his Chinese counterpart, Huai Jingpeng. Mr Chan said they had a good discussion on a variety of education-related issues and discussed ways to further cooperation, including through teacher and student exchanges. Olivia Xiong, CNA, Beijing.